just leave like five bags of this behind and it's taking up space in my drive store, so I'm just slowly making my way through. This is my little spot outside where I like to drink it, get some fresh air before I start the day. Let's get down to this. It is Friday today and the crew have the weekend off. So what I need to do is cook a bunch of food so I can be in the fridge for them and they can help themselves all weekend. This is a busy, busy day for me. I'm basically cooking five different meals plus cooking today's breakfast and lunch. So for Yacht Chefs, Friday is not their favorite day. Let's put it that way. But you know what? I'm a positive girl. Let's go do this. Here is my menu. I planned this the night before. So I've got, ooh, let me spin this camera around. I'm using an Osmo. It's, an, it's the Boats Osmo. I'm trialing it out, seeing if I like it. Let me know in the comments if you, if you like the new camera footage. So, oh, that's cool. <laughs> I'm making all of these things. This for lunch and for breakfast, I'm gonna do a shakshuka. I need to start off with the things that take longest to cool. So I'm gonna get cracking straight away on the lasagna and also my focaccia for lunch because I'm gonna do it like a DIY sandwich day for the crew for lunch. for the crew breakfast. I had some kind of like a bean, some of a bean dish left over from a Greek lunch day I did a couple of days back. So I've just added some tomato and I'm gonna crack some eggs in there. This is our focaccia dough. Very wet dough. Really nice point and development. You can see it's a nice stretchy dough, so that's what we're looking for. Alrighty, so there's our crew breakfast. We've got the shakshuka, some sausages, some sourdough, and a fruit plate. your screens and certainly a lot of pizzazz to mine and Dean's life so I wish him all the best and uh, it was really fun working with me. Being a chef is a lot of multitasking you always want to have at least two if not three if not four things on the go at once and that's especially true on a Friday because I need to clean. <laughs> what are you guys doing? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I did just catch Bjorn and Hibby going into a cabin together. Okay. Cabin All right. Inspection. Cabin inspection. <laughs> so basically, 
I'm trying to get as much stuff done at the same time and cooling. Oh, is that the new Beyonce album? So it's kind of annoying like running up and down and up and down a lot. So I'm gonna try and grab as much stuff as I can for lunch and weekend food right now, take it all up in the dumb waiter and then just carry on with the prep. What you doing here? Oh, you know, just restocking. Restocking? The boys are animals. Oh, that, that was popular. Yeah, it's so popular. Oh, sweet. I loved it. it was Did you hear that, guys? They like the shakshuka. <laughs> Back to what I was saying about multitasking. That basically means I want to get as much hands-off tasks going as possible. So then I can focus on the hands-on tasks. So there's basically things going on in the background. So for me today, that means getting the rice for the burritos and the rice for the chicken curry, steaming, cooking away, and then I can start cooling. It also means getting the chicken roasting and then that can start cooling. And while that stuff is in the oven, I can focus on other things. I love having combi ovens. I steam my rice, so wash it, pop it in a tray like this, just cover it in water and then steam it for about 16 minutes. oven and be done with it but I want a nice crispy skin so I'm gonna put the skin side down in the pan first and that way it just makes it a little bit nicer you know so here is our rice it looks amazing super fluffy perfectly done al dente like a nice rice should be multitask in on Fridays and every day. So the chickens are going, the dough is proving, the rice is cooling. It is getting to that time where I need to start thinking about lunch. So I'm gonna also start on lunch prep and get that underway as well. send it anyway so it is out of my way DIY sandwich day today so there's a cheese plate a meat plate a veg plate salads some sweet potato bread yes some naughty chicken nuggets and a potato salad so oopsies <laughs> I keep turning it around by mistake I used to go for it the idea is it's a nice easy lunch for me and it's a bit of a you know healthier lunch for the crew now that lunch is out of the way I can focus purely on what's left of the weekend food I didn't get as much done, to be honest, as I thought I would this morning, so this afternoon is going to be a couple of power hours and finish it up. So if I were to just leave this to cool down at room temperature, it would take forever. So to speed up that process, I make these little ice baths ice and water and then I rest it on top and stir as it goes and it cools down so quickly it's a really good trick <laughs>
love sausage rolls. I don't know if it's an Australian thing, um, but I grew up eating my uncle's sausage rolls. Uncle David always used to make them. He put peas and corn in there. I do love a sausage roll. gosh guys that is Friday done finally started just before 8 it is now 20 to 5 straight through sometimes it's better just to like knuckle down and get these things done all the food is downstairs in the walk-in fridge ready for the crew to help themselves with the weekend I'll send them a little menu on whatsapp so they can see what's down there shotgun a first sausage roll though I hope you enjoyed watching this it was really fun to film let me know what else you guys want to see from the galley and also I'm on the hunt for a new sous chef. I've got a few interviews coming up, so let's hope we find another good one. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.